Welcome back to Mom Survival. We have 10 weeks, including this week, so this week's almost over, until the new year, if you can believe that. So 10 weeks left of 2023, 10 weeks until we are in the major election season for this country. And so I'm challenging our family and I wanna challenge you. And what we are doing is seeing how much we can stock up on, on a budget, from now to the end of the year. We've gone over our stockpile, which I highly suggest you just, just don't do this blindly, like make sure um, you go into your stockpile and see what you need, see what you don't have, see what you're running low on, and take inventory of that. And then in your budget each week, go and purchase items that you need. Um, so our budget ranges depending on our paycheck week. This week we have $20, so we are going to the dollar store. Like I said, this is very budget friendly. And um, just show you what we are gonna stock up on. We literally have no dried beans left. So we're going to go stock up on dried beans today and just kind of see how much we can get for that $20. If you only have $5, if you only have $10, I still super encourage you to do this because like I said, this year is coming to a close, winter is coming, and things are happening pretty rapidly in the world, and you definitely don't wanna get caught without having a sufficient food supply that you can hunker down with. So, like I said, I'm challenging you for the next 10 weeks. I'll show you what we're getting each week, and like I said, inventory what you need to get, and um, see what items you can afford each week, and really push yourself, challenge yourself, for this end of the year stop. You what? Oh, okay. Okay, hold on, buddy. Okay, so that did not go as planned at all because I have a bone to pick with my Dollar General. The closest one to me is we're in a small town and I know they're understaffed, but still, it is so unorganized. They have stuff just sitting in the aisles. They have things everywhere. They have things unmarked. They have price tags in the wrong place. And it's really hard to know like what's priced for what. And so I said I wanted to stock up on beans. Their one beans were priced, like the big bag I got were priced at like $3.50, which I thought was kind of high for a dollar store, but I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so I just got two of them. And then I got, they had a bunch of muffin mixes on sale because that makes like for a super easy breakfast. It's minimal ingredients. It makes, in a pinch, it makes like a really easy like filler, I guess, for my for my son and especially my husband likes them too. So I was like, I'll just get a couple of these and some beans. And then I ended up getting up there and the beans were actually only a dollar and which I should have known as a dollar store. And so I came up with only $16.50. So I have $3.50 left over. If I didn't have my little guy with me who was, he doesn't do well in the store. He doesn't like to stay in the cart. He's at the age where he wants to run around constantly. And I honestly get anxiety like when I have him out at the store by myself just because of the world we live in so I don't like to stay too long if I didn't have him with me I would have been like hey can I you know go back and fix this because I didn't realize the price but it is what it is so um I'll show you what we, I got here for that $16.50 and then I think what I'm going to do is just add the $3.50 to next week's budget um and just know that I have that extra dollar and also maybe go to a different dollar store or at least just keep in mind that that's how my dollar store works. <laughs> but definitely, if you're gonna do this challenge, give yourself ample time, maybe not bring the babies with you um, so that you have time to kind of price everything out, especially if you're on as tight of a budget, especially of like what we are on. So yeah, so I'll go ahead, we just pulled in, I'm gonna get him out of the car and then I'll show you what I got for that $16.50 for the stock pile. This is beyond such a fail, um, but I guess, I guess it's sharing the struggle of being like a mom, a stay at home mom and stuff. Um, I left one of my bags at the store. 
I left all the muffin mix I bought at the store. So it's only $5. Um, I might try to call the store. I have to take him in for lunch and get him down for a nap. I don't have time to go back to the store. <sighs> so that really stinks. But just know if you're like a parent out there trying to prep, it's not easy. And this is what it looks like. And it's messy. And we're going to make mistakes and that's okay. <laughs> so I'll at least show you the beans that I got. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five pounds of pinto beans. I believe these are two pounds. So four pounds of these Northern beans. This is all the beans I had at the dollar store as you saw in the video earlier. So definitely next time I'll know to go to Walmart. I think they're just as cheap there. Obviously week one, I just kind of failed at because I forgot half of our items at the store. <laughs> Like I said, if you can go without littles as a mom, I think it's so much easier. My number one priority when I'm in a store with him is like obviously like keeping an eye on him. And I just forgot the bags. So, lovely. <laughs> it is what it is. This is just part of prepping and being a parent. And we're just showing you what real life looks like. We're not perfect. Um, we don't ever claim to be. <laughs> Hopefully this helps you maybe at least feel a little bit better <laughs> about your prepping. Um, I want to know, what are you guys doing to stock up at the end of the year? Are you going to do this 10-week challenge with me? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. But that's going to be it for today's video, and I will catch you all next week. Bye!